yes transistor it has brought a revolution in electronics almost um, not almost every electronics device made by transistor in this generation everyone uses smartphone can you imagine that the processor of a smartphone made by million or billion of transistors but how do they work anyway let's see Actually, a transistor made by p-type and n-type semiconductor, like diode. Look at the p-n junction diode. If we add an extra layer of n-type impurity with diode as shown, then we will get n-p-n transistor. Alike, we will get p-n-p transistor by adding extra layer of p-type impurities. This is just basic structure to easy of understand. But this is the perfect structure of transistor. N region of PNP and P region of NPN transistor is too narrow. Look at the symbol and pinout. In general, opposite type always base. Similar type emitter and collector as shown. It is very important when you design a circuit with transistor. Now look transistor representing two diode individually. To activate transistor need biasing. Very important thing is you have to connect emitter and base in forward bias and collector and base in reverse bias. Ok, current flow in NPN transistor. Before start, need to know a convention. Look, if negative charge carrier, I mean electron flow from A object to B object, then current will flow B object to A object. But if positive charge carrier, that's mean hole, flow from A object to B object, then current will also flow A object to B object. It's just a convention. Anyway, let's get to the point. I'm taking common base circuit. Look at the emitter base junction. Electron starting flow from negative terminal of the power source to emitter side. It's forward bias. So, electron must move from emitter towards base. But base has not enough holes to hold these electrons because of narrow size. That's why only 5% or less electrons back to the power source and other 95% or more electrons flow through the collector. We already connect another power source as reverse bias. So electron move fast from collector to power source as shown and also completed the circuit. Now look here. Electrons flowing clockwise. So current flowing anticlockwise. This time collector express 95% current, base express 5% current and emitter express 100% current. Because first time 100% of electron flows through the emitter but in base they divided their quantity that's why we can say ie equal ib plus ic pnp transistor like i said you have to connect emitter and base in forward bias and collector and base in reverse bias positive charge carrier i mean holes move to emitter and go into the base like npn transistor 5% holes back to the power source and 95% holes move through the collector now holes move fast to the power source and complete the circuit cause of the reverse bias. Now look here, holes flowing clockwise, so current also flowing clockwise. Here emitter express 100% current which is divided into 5 and 95%. So same equation, IE equal IB plus IC. That's all. See you on next video. Stay with creative zone. Have a nice day.